Ooh, this feels nice. That is gross. There are teeth in here. I heard something jingling around, but I wasn't thinking teeth. That's an unexpected good find right there. Hmm. <laughs> Little leather. Squirrel. Uh-oh, is this sealed? What the heck? No, no way. Abracadabra, make this garbage bag go away. Didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Abracadabra, make that box full of heck of good stuff. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this big 10 by 20 locker through an online auction site. It was close to my home, filled with great looking stuff, and I really wanted it. I had to pay a whopping $3,010 for it, plus buyer's fees. Immediately, I was in for my first surprise, which was finding out that this is my old storage unit that I had vacated about a year ago. How nuts is that? I'm hopeful to turn a profit on this one, but it's going to be tough. Luckily, I've been pulling out some decent items so far, and this adventure has barely begun. Let's continue to dig and see what other goodies turn up. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We're back at the unit. This unit right here, this is my old, my old unit, right? If you saw the previous couple episodes, few episodes, I bought my old unit. Obviously, not my stuff. Uh, the guy who moved in after me was here for a while. Who knows how long? I was out for about a year, I think. Or something like, something like that who knows how long he was here but he was the next tenant in and he didn't pay his, his locker went up for auction i bought it unknowingly that i was going back into my old unit so i've got this one rented back for a month that's why i'm kind of happy to take my time go through it and see what we find uh back for another day guys i'm a little bit late it's about 3 30 right now i've had a full day already running around errands post office fedex ups editing videos publishing videos going to our unit christmas pack all kinds of stuff so anyways we're here 3 30 it's already getting a little dim um so i can't i can't delay i gotta get going i got my gopro and i'm ready are you guys ready let's get to it all right well to start with that was a a little bit smarter today and i'm gonna say a little bit like that's like a little a little, little bit smarter i brought some bins and boxes for sorting smart okay let's hmm Okay, kitchen stuff. Another knife block. This one's Quasinart. The other one's KitchenAid. This one's Quasinart. I think this guy must have been a, into cooking because two knife blocks. I don't know. Maybe when he moved in, him and the lady moved together, each of one brought one or something. That could be two, but I don't know. We don't usually need two. Kitchen Essentials from Cephalon. That's a good one. I'm not going to go too much into this box. Though. For one, I don't want to get cut by a knife. For two, it's just it's not that interesting. But great sellers at the flea market right here. Kitchen stuff, very, very good sellers. You make some good money there. Okay, yeah, you see what I was saying? The, the one over here, I think, matches it. It's pretty dang thrashed. I actually just needed to be seated a little better on the rail. They must have moved it without the drawers in it. Because all the drawers are put in all funky like that. I don't know, maybe put a little wood polish on it. Maybe it's sellable or at least give away a bowl. There's a good crock pot right here. Huh, really good one it looks like. Let's see what the condition is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks clean. It doesn't look well used. Like it's not all scratched up or nothing. I don't know what the value is on these. I don't sell them that often. I usually bring them to the flea market, but I'd say probably, I don't know, 10 to 20 bucks. All right, yeah, let's get to this. Now, I looked this up. You can see this in the photo on the auction site. So, I looked it up. They're not terribly expensive. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're, they're not terribly cool, because that is pretty stinking cool. Pretty cool. It's an airsoft gun. Oh, man, that looks nice. Yeah, I think they cost like 70 bucks brand new. Whoo, this feels nice. That is heavy duty. Okay. 
We're going to have to look into this some more. Probably take some batteries somewhere. I'm going to have to figure this out. We've got the instruction book. That's good. Looks like we've got some extra parts here. There's a flashlight. There's a scope. <laughs> oh, there's an extension to the barrel right there. Make it longer, a little more accurate. Um, yeah, figure out where the batteries go. That looks like that could be a lot of fun. Oh, it's just like a real AR. Ding, that's cool. All right. I knew this wasn't going to be like the big, big money right here. I knew it wasn't going to be like super valuable or nothing. It's just cool. It's just cool and fun. All right. All right, let's look, looks like we got some books here. And I must say, the Mercedes is working out really nicely. It doesn't hold as much as probably I, you know, I need it to. Let's just put it that way. I could move a lot more stuff if it had more room in it. But um, so far, I tell you, the nice thing is that, like, I loaded this thing two days ago. And I left everything in it for two nights. With the truck, obviously, I have to tarp it and worry about water getting in. It's been a little moist at night and it freezes over. Uh, this it's secure you don't have to worry about animals you don't have to worry about thieves you don't have to worry about weather uh, it's totally secure and then when i go to unload it open the doors unload i know that sounds silly but with the tr working with the truck for so many years geez, these are all romance books um working with that truck for so many years my goodness it's all romance uh you know every time i move with the truck it's like i gotta i've got to uh um you know, tarp it, net it, tie everything down and secure it. And this sucks time. It does suck time. Edgar Allan Poe. That's kind of neat. Very cool. Nice looking book right there. What's this? It's a notebook. Yeah. Yeah, there's a marble. Well, this is odd because I just scanned this book, Until Lily, on Amazon, and it says one new and used from $59. There's only one available on Amazon for $59. That's crazy. Let's see about this one. Okay, three available from $5. So, $15 on that one. $14 on that one. Uh, scary stories, I don't think that's going to be anything. Let's try one more. Because at 14 bucks, I'll list these. 107 of them is... Hmm. Well, for these, for 14, 15 bucks each, um, I would I would send those to Amazon and let them sell those. There'll be a little bit of money in books for me. Another bag of books. Looks like the same type of stuff. My banks, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's in here. Photos. See if we find something more interesting. Chesapeake, mind and body, joy and laughter. Here's a very nice candle. It's about half used. This smells good. This smells good. More ribbons. We'll add that to the craft lot we have going on. I don't know what that is. Monsuno. What's that? It looks like a Pokemon kind of. Yeah, we've got a few bobbleheads. There's Sergio Romo, 2013. Hunter Pence, 2015. Madison Bumgarner. They like the Giants, that's for sure. Okay, check this out. Sony. Nice. Yeah, this is good. Cybershot, 16.1 pixels. This is very good. This, is, I think, is the box that we found earlier. I was really hoping to find the camera. Mm, got some scratches on here. Not a big deal, but it's hoping for it to be a little bit nicer. But it ain't bad. Alright, Dolores. She got a card. Let's see what they have to say. Baby shower. Oh! <laughs> that is gross. There are teeth in here. I heard something jingling around, but I wasn't thinking teeth. I don't know why. I should probably learn by now, but what the heck is this for? Is that is that real gold? Nah, could it be? Could that be real gold? Fourteen k. It almost looks like it says sixteen k. Do you see that, you guys? Sixteen k. Sixteen karat gold. What the heck is that? Is that for real? There's a 
That's that's if that's real gold, that's a little beefy. That's like uh I don't know. Five or six grams, maybe more. I'm horrible at that, so don't hold me to that. We're gonna weigh that later. We'll go through that later. That is a pretty cool, pretty cool find. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at this real quick. Get a little better lighting in here. That clearly says 16k, right? 16k. Wow. That's gross. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Okay, so I got my little gold tester kit here. I actually haven't used this in a while. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Alright, let's start with the 10k. See what it does. You see right there, it has not dissolved. Okay, so let's try 14. And if that is 16k, it should not dissolve. Mm -mm. The 18, and it should dissolve because if it's 16, it falls right in there. Sure enough, what the heck, you guys? That is dissolved. Do you see that? That completely dissolved it. That is what it says is 16k gold. Sure enough, I think it is. That's really, really, really good news. We have some gold. Now we see how much we got. 6.1. Okay, that's good. 6.1 grams. 14k is $35 a gram. So that is $210 in scrap gold. Like actually a little bit more because it's 16k. I think that we could say that's probably $40 a gram. And that would put us at $240. Bucks. That's <laughs> That's an unexpected good find right there. Wowza. What else you got in here? <laughs> this is kind of funny in the paper bag right there. You got a, this guy, uh, it says the Vampire Diaries. I've never seen it, but uh, it looks like you had a, you had a convention, convention for the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> what the heck? 2013. So... That's funny, and then I guess maybe this is the lady, I don't know, but she's posing with the guy, probably pay to play type of thing, take your photo with the star. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, this is a good sign. Got a little Pokemon card. Um, it's not a, really a playable card, it's just one of these c code things. Well, maybe I shouldn't show that, I don't know. Ah, who cares? Um, but where there's one, maybe there's more. All right, let's go for this box right here. It says, take with us. Okay. They didn't, though. They left it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Feels light. It feels light. There have only been in the box, like, once in my entire career. Doesn't mean I don't hope. I do hope, you know. I mean, I stay somewhat optimistic. I know what everyone's gonna say. The box, you can sell the box, man. Get at least four dollars fifty cents for that online. You should sell it. Mm-hmm. There's some happy subject matter right there. Witchcraft, a handbook of magic spells and potions, and a witch's bible. Hmm. Never seen these before. Brand new. Twenty-eight bucks. What the heck? Maybe there's a little value here. Because you know what? I'll sell it. I don't care. It's all... <laughs> it's ridiculousness anyways. But I'll tell you what, guys. If any of y'all want to judge me like, Oh, how can you call yourself a Christian? You sell witchcraft books. I'll tell you why. Because every book I sell on the used market is a book the publisher is not selling brand new. So take that. Huh? Put that in your cooker and cook on it for a while, I guess. What's this? Seems important. Oh, jeez. Look at that. It's a journal with, like, handmade paper and a leather. Very nice leather. That's really cool, actually. Very cool piece. Never used. Brand new. That is something a little bit different. This appears to be a PlayStation 4 controller. Too light. Too light. Dang it. Where's all this stuff? The good stuff. 
Where are they hiding it? I thought it was in here. They said take it with us. Why? Okay, there's a little tablet. LG. Tablet. A little bit of damage right here. LG V410. LG V410. No cracks on the screen though, so that's good. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's a garbage pill kid. We had that card before. See that? That's funny. Alright, there's another coin. Uh, unfortunately, I, I started a box, but I took it home. So, start a new box. There it is. Um, oh, good. Look at this. Some headphones with the newer port, right? So, a headphone jack. It's the lightning cord. And this is good. You know what's kind of weird, guys? You know, I talk about these weird things happening. Here's a weird thing. I'm driving in the van today. I'm thinking to myself... Ah oh, man, I wish I had some headphones because then I could download this new audiobook that I want. It's called Ready Player 2. It's a sequel to Ready Player 1. I think it just came out. And I'm like, ah, oh, but I don't have any headphones. No joke. That was going through my head. Boom. There it is. Yes. I love it. Ooh. <laughs> Nesting dolls, I think. Yes. That's what it is. Nesting dolls. No uh, maker mark. Oh, we're getting small. Oh, we're getting small. Oh, that's it. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. And these little piggies all together went wee 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 all the way into our live auction. <laughs> okay, what's this? This is for cords. For putting something on, like a bunch of things to charge up or something. I like finding baby shower stuff because I have found gift cards in baby shower cards before so I kind of dig it what's going on here apparently it's <laughs> it's not child proof but it's 50 year old proof oh what are these oh these are pogs oh okay look at that bunch of pogs we found those before mm. yeah bunch of pogs okay it's cool it's a few bucks oh what's this Bill Thornton. Oh, Bill Thornton. Thank you very much for this nice little box. And potential. We got some potential. What's this say? It's got something in there. Oh, this is nice. It's, it doesn't feel like gold, though. It could be like titanium or something, though. Huh. All right, cool. More keys and more coins. All of which we will keep just in case. Okay, here's a watch band. No watch. As of yet, no watch anyways. A little leather squirrel. Okay, there's some journals. Look at this, right. And no one did. And another one. Nothing's written in it. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, journal. That's cool. Maybe before Christmas. Please don't have written in there. I actually, I kind of want them to write in there so I could read their journal. That's how we get to know. Oh, nice. Envelope. Oh, this one's really cool. Dang, we've got some nice journals here, guys. Yeah, nothing. New kids on the block. That's hilarious. And it's sealed brand new. It's a few bucks. There's a fast track. Um... You know, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to return that for them. Because it costs nothing to return them. Oh, neat. Jack is back. Whoa, someone's smoking some Mary J. Wanna. What the heck? There's no one even here. Where is that coming from? Someone is getting stoned. Either that or a skunk just hit us. Well, that could be. There could be a skunk up in these hills. For sure. That could be. Here's some little plastic pieces. Looks like to maybe an action figure. And a little cool. Oops, I dropped a quarter in there, but that's alright. That's my keeper box. Okay, this one says baking pans, kitchen. It doesn't look like that though. Interesting. Okay, what's this? Some baby stuff. Cause oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? That's potentially a little bit of gold right there. What does it say on there? I can't read it. That's got to go home with this. Uh, 
That's got to be looked at. So what is this? Huh. Little bracelet. Diego. It's also got a little something right there. I'm going to take a look at that too. Could be silver. That's what I think. A little silver bracelet. Yeah, that's neat. A little skull. Glass skull. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Harry Potter. That's good. That is good. Uh-oh. Ring for S-E-X. <laughs> Wait. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but... Yeah, I'm taking that home. <laughs> we'll see if Gianna thinks that's funny. Quite possibly, she does not think that's funny at all. This... Okay, this is... This is good right here. Check this out. This is a humongous... Um... Humongous iPad cover, and guess what? I have a humongous iPad, <laughs> but, but there's no cover. I never bought a cover because I don't take it out of the house. So now I got a cover. Yeah, boy, yeah. Okay, premium white laser paper. I'm gonna take this actually because oh, and cover stock, nice thick paper. I'm taking that home because we brought that printer home. We may actually keep that printer that we found. Um, because it looks like it's actually a really good printer, and Jenna can use it for her real estate. She's got quite a bit of real estate business right now. A couple trays for paper, and the rest. Oh, look at, look at this, look at this. Why does this feel as heavy though? Here's an Apple pencil. You use them with those big um, tablets. Oh, oh, is this sealed? What the heck? No, no way. No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, dang it. Apple Pencil's a hundred bucks, guys. Brand new. That's a hundred bucks right there. One device. hundred bucks. Yeah, I think this is a wand. And I think I know that only because I found these before. Fragile, not a toy. Oh, is it a real wand? <laughs> okay. Oh, it is nice. Look at this. Hogsmeade, huh? Is that the name of the wand? I mean, I know these are just silly little toys. Um, but they're just, there's something cool about them. They're very high quality. They're probably just resin, but they just look neat. And, um, yeah. Abracadabra. Make this garbage bag go away. Didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. Abracadabra, make that box full of heck of good stuff. <laughs> My phone ring, that was a little creepy. Alright. That's cool. Alright, let's do this box right here. I just used the magic wand on this, so there should be something good in here. <laughs> oh, actually, that's not bad. We got a whole bunch of DVDs. Check it out. Good, 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 good. Here's a couple more bobbleheads. Here's this empty box here. This is probably one of the ones. Oh, yeah, Madison Bumgarner. All right. Maybe the one we found. Maybe there'll be more. But we have a ton, a ton of DVDs. That's awesome. Really good this is all good for our live auctions okay i don't know if the wand really worked on that one but maybe i misfired and it was that one let's go for this blair candy oh this was the thing that said can't wait it said candy or something on didn't it candy necklaces ah dang it oh whoa 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 and that's exactly what it is. That's the candy necklaces. Oh, this is the wrong time to be on a diet. Smarties, too. Dang it. Oh, I can smell them. All right, guys, I'm going in. I just got to see if they're stale. I know I'm on a diet, but I got to do it. It's for the cause. For the cause. Mm. Those are not stale. Those are freaking amazing. <laughs> they really are. They're amazing. Look at that. These are, it looks like coffee bean bags. That is sealed brand new. This one is sealed brand new. Expiration date, oh, November of 2020. That was just, you know, not very long ago. It must be for like, they must have used these for like a kid's party or something. Just testing a few more, just to make sure. 
All right. I need to stop. Those are good. Smarty is one of my many weaknesses. All right. We got a bunch of scarves here. Slippers. What kind of slippers are those? Because that feels like leather. Those are actually moccasins, I think. Suede leather. Those are those are actually pretty nice. Moccasins sell pretty good. Oh, there's a bunch more Lego stuff. We got some Legos and some Lego books. What are we doing on light here? I can see just fine, but this GoPro is not picking up the light too good. Uh, Rawlings, little kid's mitt. Ooh, shoes look decent. I mean, they're not worn out, you know what I mean? They're not thrashed and falling apart. They're decent. Okay. This one's light. Okay, I got more of these elves. Or, they look more like gnomes. But I think it's like the elf on the shelf. We had like a bunch of those already. This, look at this one. That's a humongous fat guy right there. Boo. That one's for Halloween. It's actually kind of cool. I like these. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Look at this guy. Those are neat. They really are. They're fun. Snowball fight indoors. Get out. That's rad. This stuff here is going into my storage locker. We're saving that till next year. Now, if the, the wife doesn't want it, fine. I'm still going to save it till next year and sell it then. This is good, this is good stuff. I have a feeling this is more holiday decorations. Uh, yeah. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. There, guys. It's pretty wicked. That's a box. Oh, that's creepy. Hello, locker nuts. I'm coming for you, locker nuts. I know Jana's gonna say no to most of this because she doesn't like spooky stuff. No spooky stuff. That's not spooky, though. That's not spooky. That's cool. Probably more the same. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> that's a bird. <laughs> A bird skeleton that's pretty funny oh wow they got a bunch of them this is actually really cool i think oh look at this that's hilarious oh that's hilarious a bird in a cat costume classic this jack skeleton that's really cool i think oh look at this one this one's purple it looks like beetlejuice oh, some little kitchen towels Potions and poisons. But you know who's gonna like this? This Camille and Grace. They're gonna they're gonna get a kick out of this. I'll just bring all this home and be like, here you go, decorate the house. Jim will come home and be like, what? What? Okay. Yes, more Halloween. But I like what I see right here. Jack Skeleton. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. 17 bucks right there. Do you see that? 17 bucks for this little thing right here. Jack-o'-lantern with the cat on top. It's very nice. But boy, oh boy. That's a lot of money. This is cool. I wonder what it does. It's changing colors. Huh. That's neat. Creepy. Alright. Cool. Creepy cool. It's a little tree. 24 orange LED lights in this little tree. Oh, well, that's cool. Very cool. That'll be nice decorating next year, too. And we got two of them. Look at that. Boom. All right, guys. I don't think that's a, exactly a great place to cap this video. Because those weren't, like, super great finds. They're fun, though. They are fun finds. The Halloween and Christmas stuff. Um... It's fun stuff, and, and really, I probably will take those bins and just put them in one of my storage units, throw them in the back, and uh, wait till Christmas and wait till Halloween and pull those out. Let my family go through them, decide what they want to um, decorate the house with, and then the other stuff, I'm going to sell it at that time because right now is just not a good time. And it looked like good stuff. If it wasn't good stuff, I would just let that go right now. Who cares about the price? But it looked like a little bit better stuff. You can see outside, it's getting dark. And it's only 5 30 it's not even that late but it's getting dark and that's okay because you know what i'm gonna go home and start editing a video for tomorrow so you guys have something to watch 
yeah, that's what it's all about. Keep those videos pumping. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching these silly little videos that I do. I'm so happy that you decided to come along with me on this adventure. I hope I put on a decent show. I try to find some interesting stuff for you guys. You know I do. What's uh, good for the videos is also good for my resale business. So uh, a lot of this stuff will either be selling locally or on eBay or in our live auctions. So again, make sure you check out our live auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, and with that self-plug, I'm going to let you go. So thanks again for watching. Next video will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock of Notes. getting in there i have no clue what's in there it could be totally different stuff and then of course in the back in the back i don't know we found kitchen stuff over here uh, we did find a little bit of clothes not too much it could be clothes back there but you know what it could also be collectibles back there they could put the collectibles in first and then the furniture 